Senator Maria Canwell, the Democrat from Washington State, joining me here at 10 o'clock this morning. You're going to be with Senator John McCain, the Republican, to unveil legislation that would restore Glass-Steagall. Tell me why you think it's important to create these barriers again between investment and commercial banking. Well, it's very important we get capital flowing to small business again. And really what the issue is is that so much of the assets of the depositors are being capitalized and used to make risky investments on Wall Street. And these are two separate things. I mean, Wall Street can make its decisions and make its investment, but we ought to separate that from the capital that people put into deposits. Banking is supposed to be secure, and it's supposed to make sure that those depositors and their investments are secure. But when they're used to capitalize risky investments, we can see what happens when those investments don't pan out. We, the taxpayer, end up paying the bill. Can you really put the genie back in the bottle? It's been 10 years since Glass-Steagall was repealed by a Republican Congress, a Democratic president. A lot has changed since then. The and industry would say, Look, the, the problems were perhaps at the investment banks, straight investment banks, Lehman and also Bear Stearns, that uh, maybe you're, you're looking at a situation where there isn't that much of a problem. And look exactly what happened to the U.S. economy. Basically, it imploded over those risky investments. And what we really want is we want more of capital to be flowing into those commercial banks, into small business lending. And this is what America is frustrated about. For 60 plus years, we had the protection of Glass-Steagall and none of this particular problem. And so this is about us moving forward to have a uh, more investment, not flowing into the risky derivative asset market, but back to Main Street. All right, let me ask you about uh, your legislation. Would you grandfather in existing banks that might be, again, these hybrid no. uh, uh, banks? You would force them to separate? They'd, have one, they'd have one year. It's kind of uh, like a company that basically does a spinoff and, and protects that investment. These can both be very healthy, very secure organizations and, uh, and have the same shareholders. You don't have to say that you're going to lose value here, but the issue is you're going to do a better job of protecting the American consumer. There are people who look at this proposal and they say, listen, this is uh, worthy of debate, but, uh, but really not serious. We don't have this uh, in, uh, in Chairman Frank's uh, legislation that just cleared the House of Representatives. Senator Dodd doesn't seem to be going down this route in the banking committee. Does this really stand a chance of, uh, of passage? And where do you stand in terms of co-sponsors? Well, I think you'll have to hear from the American people. If this is something the American people want, then I think you'll see it on the Senate floor. And I think as co-sponsors, we've already gotten Senator Feingold, who's signed on. We've had interest from various colleagues. All right. And let me just ask you, finally, I know you got to run to, to this news conference. Uh, do you blame these banks specifically for, for these problems? Can you pin blame on, on banks that, again, perhaps received government money in the bailout, but maybe didn't trigger this uh, crisis in, in the first place? You're basically saying these big banks were the problem? I'm saying that a very dark derivative market that allowed for excessive speculation on risky things like credit default swaps, uh, basically toxic assets now blended into securities um, was a runaway market. But what we did when we allowed commercial banks to join with investment houses, it was like putting lighter fluid onto an existing fire, and it certainly flamed up and exacerbated it. And that's why we should go back to Glass-Steagall. Fed Chairman Bernanke says he doesn't think separating these two is going to add any more stability. He said that in a speech a few weeks ago. Uh, do you, what do you make of the, the Fed Chairman's comments? Well, I think I think what Paul Volcker has said is, is right. This is about returning to stability. It worked for more than 60 years. I think we want capital flowing to Main Street. Wall Street can make its investments, but do so with its own money. All right, Senator Campbell, I know you have to head to this news conference. We thank you very much thank for you. joining us here on Bloomberg. We'll be following that news conference and this legislation as it makes its way through the Senate.